Today, I'm going to show you how to contour makeup in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is all about contouring makeup. Now this is something that I've seen like blow up since like Kim Kardashian decided she wants to uh, contour her face. It's like everywhere I look we see people who've contoured makeup and basically the idea is putting makeup on different parts of your face, like lighter areas above your cheek and darker areas right down here. And what it really does is it carves out your facial features. So in today's episode, we're gonna browse some examples online of this actually done with makeup. And then we're gonna show you how to take the same ideas and principles and do this in Photoshop. Now, thankfully, it's actually a lot easier to do in Photoshop than it is in real life. We're gonna show you how to select highlights and shadows and then paint them on the face using our guides that we find from Google. Then we're gonna use a combination of blurring as well as layer blend modes to make these contours look like they're actually a part of the makeup. You guys are gonna see it's very simple to do and it's gonna make a huge difference. All right, before we jump into Photoshop, we're gonna take a look at Google. So I went ahead and did a contour makeup before and after search and we've seen like a ton of examples here of people with their contoured makeup. And it's really cool here in Google, you can see what people start off as. They're basically painting these highlights on their face, then they paint the shadow and then they blend them in. You can see there's a lot of similarity between these. Basically they're painting highlights here above the cheeks, shadows here below the cheeks, and it makes a big difference in the final photo. So any time I'm about to do something like this, uh, I generally look on Google for references. And in this case, we're actually gonna pull one of these references into Photoshop. So I'm just gonna right click on this image. We'll go to copy image, and then we're gonna jump into Photoshop here. This is our image we're going to be using today. And here on a new document, we're gonna hit Command N and then Command V to paste this in. And then we're going to use this as our reference to actually paint the, you know what, let's just use our move tool here. We're gonna click and drag right in here and size this up a little bit. So we're gonna use this image as our reference to create the contouring on our model's face. Okay, so we can see contouring is both a combination of highlights and shadows. So we're gonna use a couple different layers for this effect. So first let's start off with our shadows. Now, a quick analyzing of what's actually done here. We can see the shadows are done right here below the cheekbone. We can see underneath the jawline here, a little bit next to the eye, and even some on the forehead. And then we have some of this kind of going around the nose area. So let's go ahead and make that invisible for now. We're gonna create a new layer on top of our background. And then using our brush tool, I'm gonna to hold Alt or Option, and I'm gonna sample a color that's actually a shadow here from my subject's skin. Okay, so with this color, I'm gonna be painting with the brush tool here. Now, it really doesn't matter. You don't have to do like a super good job. I'm basically just gonna be painting, you know, something just like that, and then we're going to be applying blurs afterwards. Okay, let's, so let's get an idea of where we're gonna start painting. Let's start off with the cheeks. We're gonna go from about ear pointing into the uh, middle of the mouth, right about there. So in this case, we're gonna start over here and I'm gonna come down here and we're gonna just paint right in this area. All right, and for this, I recommend just having your brush flow and opacity right at 100%. There we go. Cool, looking good. And we're gonna do the same thing right about here with the other side. Now again, I'm not too concerned with being incredibly precise here because this is getting a big blur at the end. All right, so that takes care of there. Now let's go ahead and do right here under the chin. There we go. All right, we're gonna do from the eye. So basically draw a line from the eye straight back and then we're gonna come right up there as well. All right, and we'll go on into the hairline. Now I know this does not look at all realistic now, but it will when we're done with it. Then we're gonna create a large brush and we're gonna paint some of this on the forehead here. All right. Looking good. All right, let's go ahead and add. We're gonna bring our reference back up and you can see we've got some lines coming right around the nose and connecting into the eyebrow. So we're gonna try the same thing here, right around the nose, 
kind of come under there. There we go, and on into the eyebrow. And you can see I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really doing that great of a job, but again, it's gonna be just fine. All right, so that is our dark contour. Okay, now let's go ahead and make this visible and select our light contour. So you can see from under the eye, it goes right under the eye, kind of connects back here and creates a straight line down through the nose. So we've got big triangles here that's gonna be under our eye. So let's start off there. We're gonna create a new layer hit B for the brush tool, and then I'm gonna sample a real light color here in the skin, something like that. And then we're gonna start, basically, let's click here and draw a little bit lighter. There we go. Start painting basically the same idea here. We're gonna go underneath the eye, creating these triangles. All right, she kinda of looks like a cat by the time we're done with this. Pretty weird, but it does actually work, so that's why. <laughs> That's why we're going over this. All right, we're gonna create, there we go, a little triangle under the mouth there. And we do wanna keep symmetry. Notice how, you know, this contour, you know, is this triangle, and I'm following the facial features there on the other side to kind of make the same thing there. All right, now we're gonna paint a little bit on the forehead and kind of coming around the mouth as well. All right, so coming around our mouth, looking like that. <laughs> All right, and a little bit here on the forehead. Okay, so now we have, <laughs> this is incredibly weird, but we're ready for our next step. So we're going to be adding a blur and changing our blending modes to make this look like it's actually a part of the makeup on the model. All right, so let's go ahead and start off by changing our blend modes and adding a blur. So we're gonna do this one layer at a time. Now our dark layer, we're gonna change this layer from normal, we're gonna go down to where it says hard light. There we go, that looks really good. Now we're gonna go ahead and apply a blur. So we're gonna to go to filter, blur, and over here to Gaussian blur. All right, and basically my goal here is I wanna apply a blur that makes it so we can't really see the definition. Right now I can still see the edges pretty clearly of what's going on. But as I bring my blur up more and more, we can see it starts to just blend right into the photo. All right, let's hit okay. Now you can see it's a little bit orange in color and that's because the saturation of this layer was a little bit too much. It's actually not a big deal. What we're gonna do is hit control or command U, which brings up our hue saturation for just this layer. And this is really helpful because now I can affect my lightness and I can affect my saturation. So as I bring my saturation up or down, you can see too far up does not look real but we're gonna bring it right down to about there and that's starting to look a little bit better and bring it a little bit lighter and there we go. We're getting something that looks a little bit more realistic. Hit okay. Cool. Now keep in mind, this is just our first step here. So if something doesn't look right or it's not like coming out right, you can always use the eraser tool or the layer mask to get it to blend in perfectly. All right, now let's take a look at our highlights. So we're gonna bring this layer back, back visible we're gonna change our layer blend mode from normal, again, down to hard light. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and apply a blur. So we're gonna to go to filter, down to blur, and over to Gaussian blur. And again, my goal here is to get it to a place where it blends in and I can't see the edge of our painting. So there we can see that's not enough, not enough. There we go, and a little bit more. That looks really good. Okay. Now with our highlights, we can see this is a little bit too much, so we're gonna bring down our opacity. There we go, till we get something a little bit more realistic. All right, and if you needed to, we'll just bring that up just a little bit more. If you need to use a layer mask to get it, for instance, it kind of covered up her eyes in a couple places, just put a layer mask on that layer and then paint black over the areas you don't want it to be visible. All right, and with this layer, it's a little bit too dark right up there, so we're gonna put a layer mask on there and paint black on our layer mask with a flow of about 20%, and that's just gonna help us fade it away in a nice, natural way. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before and our after. Here's our before, and here's our after. And you can see this was really simple to do, and it took almost no time. Just follow these key steps for great success. First, you're gonna to wanna to find a reference online. I suggest typing in contour makeup before and after. This is gonna give you a good idea of just exactly where you're gonna apply the highlights and the shadows. 
Next, use your brush tool to paint the contours. Hold Alt or Option to sample either highlights or shadows and paint just where you see the original reference image. Next, it's time to change your blend mode to hard light and apply a blur. Now, there's a good chance you didn't get your color exactly right in the first round. So on your layer, hit Control or Command U. This is gonna bring up hue saturation. From here, you'll be able to bring your contouring lighter or darker as well as change the saturation. Just make sure it's not too saturated or it's not gonna look real. Once you have the right blur in place and your color is good to go, adjust your opacity to make it look real. And if it's showing up in any areas you don't want it to, simply add a layer mask to that layer and paint it away. All right, guys, you can see it didn't take long to do and it makes a huge effect in the final photo. Now, if you like contouring and you like Photoshop and you wanna learn more, just click on your screen right now. Pew! <laughs> we'll put a subscribe button there. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for a new episode or a question about today's episode, really easy. Just leave it in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone. For the shadows, sample a dark sh paint in the areas. So you're gonna wanna change your blending. Now there's a good chance. <laughs> right now, we'll put a big subscribe button. This is guns for the subscribe button on your screen. That's how we subscribe in the, in the, west, in the wild west.